Hello and welcome to another Lick of the Week. Hey guys and girls of course, how you all doing? Uh, how are things for you in your part of the world? Hope you're all coping okay in these crazy times. If you've been playing the guitar for a little while, you might find that when jamming and making up solos, they often sound the same. Following on from what we said in the last video, it's obviously good to play the stuff you can do, because uh, it's fun and that's the most important part of playing. Uh, but if you always try and learn something new, uh, new ways to play chords, new licks, uh, scales, different ways to play things, it should stop you from getting stuck in a rut. How did you find the Joe Satriani lick from last week? Do you prefer using hammer-ons and pull-offs or picking every note? It's good to be able to do both, but it seems most players prefer to use one or the other. Uh, continuing on from last week, I thought this week it'd be good to do a Steve Vai type lick. Steve has packed a lot into his career. He was a student of Joe Satriani at only 10, and Joe is only a few years older. Uh, like John Petrucci and so many others, Steve attended Berklee College of Music. He used to transcribe Frank Zappa songs, which he would send him, and was eventually invited to join Frank's band, which he played in for a few years. He has also played with the bands Alcatraz, where he replaced Yngwie Malmsteen, uh, as well as Dave Lee Roth and uh, David Coverdale's Whitesnake. Steve was also recorded with Public Image, Mary J. Blige, Spinal Tap and Ozzy Osbourne, as well as touring with G3, Joe Satriani and whichever guitarist they have invited on the tour. He also recently toured with Generation X, which is Zach Wilde, Nuno Betancourt, Yngwie and Tosin Abasi. Although Steve has played with bands and other artists, he is mainly known for being a solo guitarist. His first album is called Flexible and features one of his well-known tracks, The Attitude Song. Other tracks Steve is known for include For the Love of God, Bad Horsey and Tender Surrender. Steve has also been in the movies Crossroads with uh, Ralph Macchio who is in Karate Kid, as well as doing the soundtrack for Bill and Ted's. Uh, he also did the soundtrack for the computer game Halo, and his track Juice features in Formula 1 on the PlayStation. A lot of Steve's signature licks use tapping. The lick I've put together is a 7th arpeggio type lick in D major going up diatonically or within the key and tapping the octave of each arpeggio. If you're not familiar with harmonising a major scale, the chords you get on each degree of the scale are major 7, minor 7, minor 7, major 7, dominant 7, minor 7 and then minor 7 flat 5. Uh, you get these chords by taking four alternate notes from each degree of the scale. So in D major, the first one would be D, F sharp, A, C sharp, which would give you D major 7. Then you would get E, G, B and D, which would give you E minor 7. Then you would get F sharp, A, C sharp and E, which would give you F sharp minor 7. Can you work the rest out? Anyway, that's enough theory, let's do some shredding. Here's the lick at full speed. How did you find the lick? Uh, when tapping it can sound a bit messy as the hand you use to tap with uh, covers the strings when you play other stuff down by the bridge to stop them from ringing. Uh, this isn't such a big thing when playing live but when you're recording you might want to use a fret wrap or uh, even a sock tied around the neck works well. Uh, as always remember to take your time and have fun. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already for new licks and backing tracks every week. That's all for now, thanks for watching, see you next time.